Hey everyone, and welcome to part 11 of Let's Clone a Pokemon game. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to actually talk to NPCs and whatnot. This will be pretty much the bare bones of how to set this type of system up. Now, this is going to work for different things like talking to just normal NPCs, or going in and talking to a shopkeeper that will end up bringing up a shop system, where we can go and buy different items and whatnot. But for now, we're just going to set up a basic way to talk to random NPCs that are scattered about. So this won't be the type of NPC that we walk past and they walk towards us and start a, a battle or something like that. Uh, we're just going to be setting up the basics for just talking to NPCs. Um, I did run into an issue with trying to get Collision to work with these NPCs as well. So we're not going to worry about Collision for right now. Later on we'll try figuring it out. Um, Unity does not like overlapping triggers or detecting two triggers at once. So I need a new type of system for doing that type of stuff. So we'll worry about that later, but let's just get our NPC set up for now and working. So what you want to do is, or what I did was just duplicate a grass layer, and I turned it into a NPC instead. So I just renamed it NPC, I dragged and dropped a new texture on there. We're not going to be worrying about sprite sheets right now or movement of the NPCs, we're just starting off very basic. So this is all we're going to need. Another thing you want to set up is uh, JavaScript for MPC. And I'll show you guys what to put in there in a minute. Also what you're going to need is a new tag for MPC. Just go add a new tag, MPC, and just click that. Another thing you want to do is set the Y to 5 like we've been doing with all the other things that we want to interact with. And that should be all you need for that. So what we can do is jump to our code. Um, let's see, save. Oh, I guess it was because I reloaded. All right, so there are a couple different things we're going to be doing with this code. For one, we're going to set up a new variable, and this will be direction facing. Now, the reason that we need this is when we go to press spacebar when we're in front of an NPC, we want to know, you know, which way our character is facing. Are they facing north, south? whatever way they're facing, so we know which way to send a different raycast. So we're going to be using raycast again, but this time when we press spacebar, it'll detect what direction we're facing and fire off a raycast within that direction that we are currently facing. That way, we're only calling raycasts in directions that we want our, our, if our NPC is standing north and we call it north, it should call it. If we're facing a different direction than north and we're still next to our NPC, it's not going to it's not going to trigger unless we're actually facing the NPC itself. This will also help us for which way the NPC should turn. So if the NPC is facing a different direction, they should turn around and face us. So we'll mess with that later on. Another thing to note since last time, I ended up adding a new way of doing things when we're um, when our character is facing things like walls and stuff. You remember when we were, if we were facing a wall and we pressed like W and we were facing it sideways, our character went turn to look, you know, towards the wall, even though we couldn't walk up there. What I did was I went and I grabbed this and I changed the second one, total cells, to one. So it's only playing the first sprite of that sprite sheet. And direction facing, so if we're pressing W, we're going to be facing north. So this is where our direction facing comes in. And I also did this for south. I didn't mess with the other ones because we're just going to be testing a few things here. So now that we have both those set up, and that's just something else I'll go over in a little bit, we want to set input.get key down space. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling a raycast when we, when we press the space bar. And this will activate talk to NPC. Now we may change this later, or we're going to have to change this later from talk to NPC to just, you know, check check uh, in front of us or something like that, because we're going to be checking for more things than just NPCs. If we're going to be, you know, cutting down a tree or using a Pokemon special ability on a certain object or something like that, uh, we don't just want to call talk to NPC, because not all the time it will be an NPC. But for now, we are just going to use this. So if you guys haven't created a function before, um, talk to NPC, 
and this will be our new function. So when we call that piece of code, it just calls this function just once. And so if direction facing, so that new variable, is equal to north, then we will fire a raycast north. So this is pretty much the exact code we used for moving north or pressing the W key, but it's just put into a script that's only called once. And what we did is change the hit collider tag to MPC. And so if the hit collider does equal MPC, then we want to send something out. Now we haven't gone over this piece of code before, but I will teach you guys exactly how to use this piece of code. Okay, so whatever you hit with a certain object gets stored into this variable. Now with this variable, you can access more than just the tag, like we can do more than just tell that we hit something that's called that. We can actually send over some kind of, or call something from that script itself. So if there's a script attached to the thing that we hit, we can call a function from that script as well without doing too much work. So we're grabbing the hit collider dot send a message and we're going to be calling talk. Now this is the function that's going to be on our MPC. Now I told you guys earlier to create a JavaScript for MPC and this is it right here. Nothing fancy at all. All we have is a function talk and so that's what we're calling. We're calling talk. So if this if uh, this script is going to be attached to our MPC so if that hit glider is that MPC, we're going to activate the function for talk. And when we activate that function, it calls debug.log, hello there. And now with different MPCs, we could also create some kind of prefab, or we could just duplicate the MPC, and we could create a different string for what we want each MPC to say. So, hmm, maybe we should go and do that real quick. Variable, um, we'll just say talk message. Since I didn't think about adding this, we're just going to add it real quick. Even if this tutorial goes longer, it'll still help you guys out if you want to add something different for each MPC. So we'll just do this, and we'll do plus, and then we'll do talk message. And it should be as simple as that. So yeah, that's all the code that you need. So if we hit an MPC, it'll call this, this function. So we'll jump back into Unity here, and we'll create a second MPC because we want to do something. But first with this, I guess we'll do that later. Hit Control D, and let's see here. I know this is probably not going to line up how I want it to. Oh, and I definitely don't want to put it over there because we're having issues with multiple, multiple triggers and I don't want to encounter those issues. So we'll throw MPC down there, and we'll call this MPC2. Hopefully you guys are following along this far, but okay. So what we want to put for talk message is, maybe we'll just put this one, hello, how are you? And we'll go and click on this one, and we'll say, hey there person. So, when I talk to each one of these, they should be displaying something different for each. So we'll bring up our console, clear that, and we should go test this out and see if it works. Now if we just walk over here, tapping spacebar, it's not going to call anything because we don't have a raycast going this direction. Um, you guys should probably add that later, it's pretty easy to do. Just do the same thing you did with the movement, but put it into this. So if I hit spacebar here, oh, hello, how are you? If I keep hitting it, they'll keep saying it. Clear that. So that one said that. So we want to walk over here to this MPC. Hey there, person. So each one says their own dialog. And this is an easy way to spread MPCs out throughout your world and have each one say something different. So yeah, like I said, if you just want to add more directions, just keep implementing each of the different raycasts for each of the different directions, north, south, west, east, whatever, and uh, you can get them to each, you know, say your own thing. So in the meantime, I'll be adding mine for each direction, and in the next tutorial, we'll be figuring out how to do other stuff with these NPCs, and hopefully we can get the collision figured out eventually. Um, not sure what's up with Unity and, you know, multiple triggers stacked on each other, but it's just 
causing a bunch of issues. Maybe I can submit some kind of bug to them. But yeah, until next time, guys, I will figure something out to cover.